Great question from Hang Lee. I often get frustrated when I play against my friend who is really good at the drop volley from no man's land or at the net. At first I thought he was just luck it was a lucky shot, but then he does it all the time. He can do it when I hit a hard ball at him. What is the strategy to play against him? And we are five four or five level. So if you have an opponent who's hitting a lot of drop volleys, a lot of it is a result of what shot you're hitting at them. So Hang Lee says he's hitting the ball really hard and he's able to drop volley off that. And that's completely understandable. So it's all about moving your opponent out of the comfort zone of the center of the court so that you, if they do hit a drop volley, it makes it very difficult for them. Um, if I'm hitting a heavy top spin angle and moving them way outside the alley, it's gonna be very difficult for them to hit a successful drop volley. Um, if I hit a high, heavy ball that's really deep, that's going to be very difficult for them to hit a successful drop volley. If I keep them back behind the baseline many feet, that's going to be hard to hit a drop, a successful drop volley um, or successful drop shot. Um, so the biggest thing is, is that you want to make sure that you're keeping your opponents very deep in the court or wide if they're hitting a lot of drop shots on you. If, um, if they're coming to the net a lot and hitting drop volleys, then you're giving them too many opportunities to come in. So you need to make sure that you're, again, keeping them back towards the baseline and uh, working on the angles to keep them out wide. Now, the other side of this is working on the um, anticipation and seeing what's coming at you. Your opponent is always going to tell you every time that they're hitting a shot before they hit it. So if you see your opponent open the racket face, that look for that slice, look for that drop volley. If they're um, coming from high to low and coming down on the ball, um, you're going to get that slice. You're going to get them um, looking for that drop shot. So they will be able to tell you what's happening before it even actually comes over to the court, before they even make contact with the ball. They're going to give you those signs. So anticipation is key in figuring out so that you can react when they do hit a drop shot or a drop volley when they're at the net. Um, but also opening up the court and making sure to keep them deep behind the baseline is going to be a huge factor as well in not always having your opponent drop shot against you. Thanks for all your awesome questions. We really appreciate it. If you have a question that you would like us to answer, make sure to leave it in the comments below and we'll get to it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.